Welcome to Eddie McNamara's YouTube channel. This is the Monday Night Raw WB review, full review, right here. Okay, well, we started off Raw with uh, uh, Seth Rollins marching right down to the ring. Right down to the ring. And then John Cena comes out to attack him. Uh, and then Seth Rollins runs away. And then Dean Ambrose is already in the crowd. He brawls a little bit with him. Uh, hold on. You know. Uh, the authority comes out to say that, you know, to say what the main event is for tonight. And the main event would be a uh, Dean Ambrose and John Cena versus Randy Orton, Seth Rollins, and Kane in a three on two handicap match. So, yeah. That would that would be our main event live tonight on Raw. And uh, we Silicon would be uh, uh, Roman Reigns' exclusive interview. It's the first time we'll see him since he got surgery. Uh, then we would also see Rusev and Lana. Uh, you know, respond to what the Big Show did to them and his apology. Silicon and more tonight on Raw. Uh, our first match of the night would be a six-man tag team match. It would be Zusos, the former tag team champion, and current Intercontinental Champion, Dolph Ziggler, versus Star and Goldust, the current tag team champions, and Cesaro. And if you didn't hear this, I didn't record this, I haven't been on YouTube all day, I know, I've been busy with school, hanging out with friends, sorry, ladies and gentlemen. It was just one day, but yeah, I'm gonna make this review for you tonight. But, uh... Yeah, it was reported that Dolph Ziggler lost his Intercontinental Championship. So I guess he got it back. I don't know. But the winner of the match would be Dusos, and he would pin Stardust via the, you know, the Usos Splash. So, they would, so Usos and Dolph Ziggler would win the six match tag team match. Uh, we would have up next would be Hoda and. Uh, hold on. Sorry. Hoda and Kachin, uh would be the guests, ho uh, guests on Monday Night Raw, coming up next after the break. Okay, well, yeah, Anna Rose and the Rosebuds will look, would accompany them to the ring. We would, it would be a fun segment, fun promo, fun all around. It was nice to see this entertainment. So, yeah. And the next thing we would see the Wyatt Family, more Wyatt Family big nuts. One more. We would see another one, even though we've seen many of them last week. Then we would see Mark Henry versus Bo Dallas in a rematch for main event in Raw last week again. And, uh, yeah. The winner of the match would be Bo Dallas again for the first straight time. Uh, he would win via countout. I would rate the first segment of Raw... You know, four out of ten stars. It was a good way to start the show. I would give the match, the first match of the night, uh, 3.5 out of five stars. Not bad, also for our first opening match. And I would give the uh, that the guest uh, the guest promo, 2.5 out of five stars. You know, it was nice. Maybe I'll give it three stars. You know, it was pretty good. You know, wasn't wasn't necessary, but it was nice to have an entertaining segment for once. Uh, and I, uh, I give Mark Henry versus Bo Dallas two stars. Uh, then we would have Roman Reigns. Is actually we would actually have Roman Reigns, uh, uh, his exclusive interview next. So, what I saw because I had uh, I didn't report any of this. I was supposed to report today. I got busy. Sorry, but uh, it was supposed to be Roman Reigns was supposed to be was supposed to was supposed to come at Monday Night Raw at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn, New York, live, there, in person. But I guess plans changed. So yeah, we didn't get to see him, but we did get to see him via satellite. And he said that he wants to be back sooner than later. He can't wait. And we'll see him in a couple months. So, uh, yeah. Then we would have Dean Ambrose come out. Uh, Dean Ambrose come out and pretty much 
uh, he calls out basically John Cena to the ring. So yeah, he would have that, and then and basically what he would say, you know, he walked, uh, you walked out on me on Friday Night SmackDown the tag team match. I'm gonna do the same to you. So what he does is say he's, gonna, he's hungry, so he's gonna go uh, get a hot dog and fries or something like that at the store at the rest. <coughs> losing my voice. Uh, at the restaurant. <laughs> so, yeah, see ya. And then, in, in exclusive footage during the break on Raw, you would see on, it would happen on the WWE, WWE app live. Uh, we would see, um, so we would see, he and I was actually going to train with all these people, at least. I would give the Roman Reigns interview, though. Uh, four stars, good news. I give this segment four stars also. Not bad. Ah, and so far looking good right now. It looks like the Raw, the uh, last week's Raw, or this week's Raw, will be better than last week's Raw. It's looking good. It's looking good. It's looking awesome. Wow. But can they, can they stay with this? Can they, can they keep the momentum going? Uh, so then. Backstage segment with John Cena and Triple H. He says he knows he, you know, he, he says he knows he can do it. He, he knows John Cena very well. So yeah. He would have a uh, Brie Bella versus Summer Rae, and Brie Bella would have her arm tied behind her back. So so far, last week on main event and Monday Night Raw last week, uh, Brie Bella competed in handicap match and she won both of them, so she was two and zero. Can she come three and zero tonight? Well, Brie Bella would win. With one arm behind her, one, with one arm tied behind her back, she would win by giving the knee to the face. She won, so she's three zero. And Nikki Bell never won any matches, uh, any handicap matches when she did it. So it's kind of shocking. So yeah. Uh, you, you, you. So then we would have a backstage segment with uh, Miz and Damian Mizdow. And then Kane will say you have a match with Sheamus tonight, the Miz will face him. And then we have Jack, Jack Slater versus Tyson Kidd in a unique match that we not expected to see, but Jack Slater would, over, would overall come up with the victory. When I go to the Divas match, three point three stars. But Jack Slater would win by uh, giving uh, the Patriot Lock to uh, Tyson Kidd and make him tap out a submission move. And I give this match, you know, Give it mm, two point five stars. Being nice. So yeah. Uh, up next would be uh, pretty much we, we see Edge and Christian promote the their fifteenth anniversary SmackDown show that would ha that's going to happen live on the WWE Network for just ninety nine. Go subscribe to the WWE Network now. Uh, w dot com. You can sign up and uh, they say to go get it. Oh, and by the way, I don't know what I said. There's only one thing I... Nothing. No. Uh, the Brothers Instruction DVD comes out tomorrow. Tuesday. October 7th. Go get it. Go buy it. Now. Or tomorrow when it comes out. But, uh... Yeah, 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 yeah. So... You, then, our up next would be El Torito versus Mini Gator, I think. And El Torito will win by giving a split leg moonsault. And, uh, I give this match 1.5 on a side It wasn't necessary. I mean, it was entertaining. Short match. Then we have Rusa and La- Rusa. I said Rusa. Rusa and Lana respond to, uh, Big Show, his actions and his apology. What happened last week and Friday Night SmackDown. Uh, so, y y oh, yeah, so that would happen. And then during the promo, during the segment, The Rock would come back to the WWE. We have not seen him in a WWE ring since WrestleMania 29. One year and a half and six months ago, 18 months. Oh my God, for the love of God, it would be electric. 
You know, it was. I also got to report that the Rock was in the was in the same area, in the same city as them, and I wasn't sure if he was actually gonna come back. But I guess he did. He did. I mean, wow. So far, the best segment, the best moment, right now. I don't think anything's gonna top this. Man, awesome. And then Rusev, or Rock will take out Rusev. And I don't know what this means. Is he going to wrestle at Wrestling 31? Is this going to be a build to something? Is he going to wrestle at a pay-per-view or Raw? Something? I don't know. But, however, however, I give this segment 5 out of 5 stars. Awesome. Awesome return. Unexpected. Wow. I cannot believe it. I got pumped up. I screamed. I was out of my seat. Even though I stand up anyways when I watch wrestling. I know. It's unique about me. But yeah. Wow. Can't believe it. We have to move on, though. Sorry. I mean, I, I'll talk about this for minutes, but... Gotta move on, you know? Well, uh, for tomorrow night, that will air on the WWE Network Live at 7 p.m. It will be our main event. Uh, it w it's gonna be Dolph Ziggler defending the Intercontinental Championship against Bo Dallas. Can Bo Dallas win his first championship? Or uh, Dolph Ziggler hang on to the gold? Okay, well, uh, uh, pretty much, okay. We would have a Divas match, second Divas match of the night. Uh, we would have Paige, uh, Paige and Alicia Fox teaming up against, uh, AJ Lee and Emma. And during the match, Emma would, uh, here, Emma. Uh, uh, AJ Lee, actually the Divas champion, would actually walk out on her partner, Emma. Leave her high and dry. So, Paige and Alicia Fox would win when Paige, uh, pins... Emma during the rampage, I think. Yeah. Move on. Moving on. Uh, we will see more Wyatt family vignettes. Uh, it, it, today is Bruno San Martino. <laughs> Bruno San Martino's 79th birthday. Happy birthday, Bruno. We love you. You're a legend. And also, I, I just want to say right now, uh, to hopefully we can find a cure to cancer, breast cancer, and all the cancers, any any diseases in the world. So we can get better and less people will be dying and less viruses and less everything. Yeah, well, I hope we can find a cure soon. Just saying. Sad. It's sad. Okay, and then uh, we would have The Miz versus Sheamus, the United States Champion. And uh, the winner of the match would be The Miz, actually, pinning the United States Champion. Maybe we'll earn him a shot. We'll earn him a shot at the title now. Because he uh, stole one when he gave him a roll-up pinfall for the one, and then I wish, and then uh, okay, and then we would have Joan, Linda, Lyndon. I'm sorry. Yeah, it, uh, would speak of, about her cancer, breast cancer that she's fighting currently right now. Uh, it would be main event time, uh, finally, on Raw. He's only, he was literally almost one at 10 o'clock, which was about 9.59 before it actually started. So, yeah. Okay, well, you, 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 but, uh, yeah, it was, so it would be Seth Rollins, Kane, Randy Orton versus John Cena. The three one handicap match, finally, on Raw. Uh, people were wondering, I was wondering, to be honest, is the air going to come back, maybe? Well, we're going to find out. Because the winner of the match would be John Cena via DQ because everyone comes in, chaos breaks out. Uh, Demon Emeralds does actually come back. And he, uh, you know, it comes back with a uh, hot dog cart. Uh, yeah, you know. So yeah, I would give the D with Tag Team Championship match. Uh, 2.5 stars and the Miz and Sheamus match, 3 stars. Okay, I'm sorry. But, uh, you know, so he would come back and Dean Ambrose would actually take out Kane and Randy Orton. So, yeah. He would take him out. So, then Dean Ambrose would attack Seth Rollins going in the ring. Uh, uh, John Cena and Dean Ambrose take out everyone. Then it's a brawl, everyone comes back, you know. And, uh, the authority actually comes out right before the show is going to end and announces two huge matches. 
at the Alamo Pay View for the W on the WWE Network Live at 7 p.m. on October 25th. Go subscribe now. Go to www.wwe.com to do it. Um. So, pretty much, the authority will come on and say, you know, you, you both want to get your hands on Seth Rollins. Well, here's what it's going to be. You guys are going to fight for it, since you guys don't even like each other anyways. So, with Donald Trump interview, they say, you're going to, you guys are going to fight. You guys are going to be in a match. Against each other. So, it's going to be John Cena versus Dean Ambrose, and all and whoever wins that will get... We'll face Seth Rollins, but that's not all. You're also going to face him inside the Hell in a Cell pay-per-view. In the, cell, in the Hell in a Cell match. Uh, you know, this is awesome. I, I was awesome, man. I want to see Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, though. I, I love John Cena's my favorite wrestler, but I want to see that match. This is awesome. I can't believe it. This row is way better than the last couple rounds we've seen, at least in my opinion. I don't know about you, but for me, it was awesome. Uh, yeah. Uh, and then, when we think they were on the same page, they were going to face each other off. Everyone walks out. But then, Dean Ambrose takes out John Cena. And it's the one standing tall and the one on top. When we close her off, we go off the air at 10 10. Okay, well, I give this segment 5 stars just because of what it led to and how it ended and everything that happened during this raw. This raw is awesome. I've got to give this raw 9 out of 10 stars. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Love it. This is going to be a good pay per view. All in the was a good uh, Way better than the ones we've seen recently. I guess uh, WWE cleaned their ears up. They cleaned everything out. I hear what everyone was saying. And yeah, they listened. So thanks for watching, everyone. Like this video. Share this all over the internet. Facebook, Tout, and Twitter. Uh, comment with your thoughts and your opinions. Did you, did you like this rod? Did you not like this rod? Did you think this was better than the last couple of rods? Did you think this rod sucked? What are your thoughts on the whole rod? Thanks for watching. Subscribe.